Here we have a long range patrol food packet. It's known as an LRP. Menu number eight spaghetti with meat sauce. Now these LRPs, these food packets long range patrol, these are very similar to MREs in some ways but also different in other ways. You can see the name is different because MRE stands for meal ready to eat. And the point of that is that everything in here other than the beverage mixes is literally ready to eat. You can just tear it open and eat it right out of the pouch. Long range food packet is very similar to the meal cold weather MCW in that the entree is freeze dried and most of the elements in there won't freeze in cold weather. Although it's meant for long range patrols and some other situations, the long range patrol food packets apparently are, are going to replace the meal cold weathers in the future if they haven't already. And that's because these do have the freeze dried elements in them. To me, it seems kind of odd to not just give ready to eat meals, but I guess uh, long range patrol, considered a combat situation, it's something where you would have the luxury of being able to heat up water and reconstitute some freeze dried food. So, for whatever reason, they decided to go with that freeze dried model. And now these do look a little bit different from standard MREs, but I find that the bag design is very interesting because these are the two of the three new MRE bag designs that they've used since 2008. And before that, the bag design looked like this. This one is from 2007. And as you can see, it looks almost exactly the same as the food packet LRP. One thing about these is that this is the only one I've ever had. I don't know if this is the case with all of them, but there is no date code stamped on here. There probably was one on the case, but nothing on the individual one. So I'm sure we'll find out inside how old this one is. Let's go ahead and take a look inside of it. Seems to be somewhat less than a standard MRE. Here we have the freeze-dried spaghetti with meat sauce. This is going to take 16 ounces of water, so it's going to make quite a bit of food. We have vegetable crackers. Oh, chocolate peanut spread. What they used to call this chocolate peanut butter. This one I would think would freeze, uh, you know, if you're using this as a meal cold weather, but for long range patrol, I'm sure it's fine. And the nut raisin mix. And a package of M&M's. Lemonade beverage base powder. So surprising they give you this because this is something you either have to mix up in your canteen or if you have a bottle of water, you can use that. But otherwise it's kind of tough to um, find something to mix this in unless you have a, a beverage bag or something. And a brown spoon. And an accessory pack which actually has LRP on it. It's obviously designed specifically for the long range patrol food packet. So we have Taster's Choice coffee. Creamer for the coffee. Sugar. Iodized salt. Moist towelette, matches in these newer brown pack instead of the old green one that was around for years and years. A little package of Tabasco sauce. And two packages of toilet paper. And the gum too. So for a date code, it looks like we have 0048 on here. There is an 1197. And it could be, I'm not sure which one is the date code. Hmm, it's confusing. If it's 1197, then that means it was packaged on the 197th day of 2011. If it's a 0048, it was the 48th day of 2010. Let's see what the other things say. These should be a little more standard. That looks like 2011. This is the 213th day of 2011 on the crackers and the 220th day of 2011 on the Raisin Nut Mix. 198th day of 2011, 1198. 
So it looks like this meal came from 2011. I'm going to try to reconstitute the spaghetti. So it's to add 16 ounces of hot water, or 3 quarters of a canteen cup, to the pouch. Stir and wait about 10 minutes. You can't really see the nutrition facts here very well, but this it looks like a small package, but don't forget it's going to be 16 ounces of water in there too. And it has 510 calories, 110 of those from fat. It's going to give you 87% of your daily sodium recommendation. I haven't had much luck with these, these little opening things here, but I'm going, to, I'm going to give it a try anyway. It does have a little notch on both sides, so it looks like you're supposed to tear it down here. You can hear the air escaping. So now, see, it doesn't really seem like that does much good, but we so can just cut that. Dried spaghetti with meat sauce. I'll go ahead and add the water. I haven't had the best of luck with the freeze dried foods as far as the amount of water. So this says to add 16 ounces, but I'm going to go a little bit less. About 14 ounces in there. I'm gonna mix that up. Very hot. It already smells good though. So we'll give that about 10 minutes to reconstitute. And while that's reconstituting, let's see what else we have. I should also mention that another reason for having the freeze-dried entree instead of a ready-to-eat one is that in addition to being good for cold weather environments, it also increases the shelf life of these. So instead of lasting three to five years, these are expected to last up to ten. Let's check out the lemonade beverage base powder. I thought this was just something you put in a standard bottle of water, but it says to add it to 20 ounces of bottled water. And it seems like usually the bottles of water you find are a little bit smaller than that. Luckily, I happen to have a bottle that will fit 20 ounces. A little notch right here. Powder for a little bit of water. Just want to make sure that's all mixed up good. Tastes pretty good. A little bit weak, I may consider adding a little bit less water to it, but it's a good lemonade flavor. Vegetable crackers. Let's see if this has the hiss too. And the vacuum seal. Yep, that goes. And the chocolate peanut butter, or chocolate peanut spread as they're calling it now. I'm going to knead this up to make sure it's all mixed and get the oils mixed in there. I'm sure there'll be some comments about this, but it's chocolate peanut butter. I think it's going to taste better than it looks. There's the nut, nut raisin mix. This has peanuts, raisins, walnuts, almonds, filberts, cozine. 
I don't know what cuisine is. M&M's. About three years old, so they won't be too bad. They seem to have some issue with aging. It's like a powder on them. It must be some chocolate coming through on the cracked ones. Uh, nothing too major. That's really about it. I don't know if I'm going to use the Tabasco sauce. I'm not really much of a spice person. And I'm not going to do the coffee. So we have the coffee, sugar, and creamer for another time. I think it's been about 10 minutes. Check out how the spaghetti is. It smells like something that's been packaged, but it's uh, it's not it's not like your standard MRE pasta smell. For some reason, it reminds me a little bit more of something that you'd get at a pizza place, which is not bad. And there is a lot of it. So some left in the bag. And so I don't spill over, I'm gonna leave that in there for now. All right, so this is our long range patrol food packet. Spaghetti with meat sauce. Let's try this out. Little, short little strands of spaghetti. Pretty good amount of meat in there. It's a different kind of taste. And as much as people make fun of the MREs, it is nice that the food is literally ready to eat. This has to be reconstituted, which might take away from the flavor a little bit. That's good though. The meat sauce. The meat itself is just like some ground beef. What's this here? Oh, and here's why you need to make sure you mix it up really good. I've got a little bit of a dry area in here. Should have stirred it a little bit better. See how crunchy that is. Mmm, yeah. Not too bad. Other than that, that was my fault. It looks like it all constituted really well. I have no problem eating this. It's pretty good. Nut raisin mix is a big surprise here. We got nuts and raisins. Those are fine. The interesting looking chocolate peanut butter. That's good. It's not overly sweet. It's kind of a nice kind of a nice change from just a standard peanut butter. I don't want something to drink with it though. The M and M's, as usual, they have their cracked appearance. This one's especially interesting. It's pretty dry inside. This still tastes like M&M's though. All that's left is the lemonade. That's fine too. Overall, it's not a ton of food. Get a couple of snacks. You could uh, take these with you and just eat the, the main meal if you want. Have stuff spread it out through the day. Or you could eat it all at once. 
but while it's not it doesn't seem like a lot of stuff you have to keep in mind that this is more than 16 ounces of spaghetti where a standard MRE has an 8 ounce entree usually as a side dish too but this is going to be a lot of food it's going to be very filling and of course as I mentioned I don't even have all of it in here There's still a few more ounces left in the bag so that was a food packet long range patrol LRP, menu number eight, spaghetti with meat sauce from 2011. So we have Taster's Choice coffee. Creamer for the coffee. Sugar. Iodized salt. Moist towelette matches in these newer brown pack instead of the old green one that was around for years and years. A little package of Tabasco sauce and two packages of toilet paper and the gum too. So for date code looks like we have 0048 on here. There is an 1197, and it could be, I'm not sure which one is the date code. Hmm, it's confusing. If it's 1197, then that means it was packaged on the 197th day of 2011. If it's a 0048, it was the 48th day of 2010. Let's see what the other things say. These should be a little more standard. Now yeah, looks like 2011. This is the... Here we have a long range patrol food packet. That's known as an LRP. Menu number eight, spaghetti with meat sauce. Now these LRPs, these food packets, long range patrol, these are very similar to MREs in some ways, but also different in other ways. You can see the name is different because MRE stands for meal ready to eat. And the point of that is that everything in here other than the beverage mixes is literally ready to eat. You can just tear it open and eat it right out of the pouch. Long range food packet is very similar to the meal cold weather MCW in that the entree is freeze dried and most of the elements in there won't freeze in cold weather. Although it's meant for long range patrols and some other situations, the long range patrol food packets apparently are, are going to replace the meal cold weathers in the future if they haven't already and that's because these do have the freeze-dried elements in them. To me it seems kind of odd to not just give... Here we have the freeze-dried spaghetti with meat sauce. This is going to take 16 ounces of water, so it's going to make quite a bit of food. We have vegetable crackers. Oh, chocolate peanut spread. What they used to call this chocolate peanut butter. This one I would think would freeze. Uh, you know, if you're using this as a meal cold weather, but for long range patrol, I'm sure it's fine. And the nut raisin mix. And a package of M&M's. Lemonade beverage base powder. So surprising they give you this because this is something you either have to mix up in your canteen or if you have a bottle of water. You can use that, but otherwise it's kind of tough to um, find something to mix this in, unless you have a, a beverage bag or something. And a brown spoon. And an accessory pack, which actually has LRP on it. It's obviously designed specifically for the Long Range Patrol food packet. 113th day of 2011 on the crackers and the 220th day of 2011 on the Raisin Nut Mix. 198th day of 2011, 1198. So it looks like this meal came from 2011. I'm going to try to reconstitute the spaghetti. So it's to add 16 ounces of hot water, or 3 quarters of a canteen cup to the pouch. Stir and wait about 10 minutes. You can't really see the nutrition facts here very well, but this it looks like a small package, but don't forget it's going to be 16 ounces of water in there too. 
and it has 510 calories, 110 of those from fat. It's going to give you 87% of your daily sodium recommendation. I haven't had much luck with these, these little opening things here, but I'm going to I'm going to give it a try anyway. It does have a little notch on both sides, so it looks like you're supposed to tear it down here. Ready to eat meals, but I guess uh, Long Range Patrol, considered a combat situation, it's something where you would have the luxury of being able to heat up water and reconstitute some freeze-dried food. So for whatever reason, they decided to go with that freeze-dried model. And now these do look a little bit different from standard MREs, but I find that the bag design is very interesting because these are the two of the three new MRE bag designs that they've used since 2008. And before that, the bag design looked like this. This one is from 2007. And as you can see, it's almost exactly the same as the food packet LRP. One thing about these is that this is the only one I've ever had. I don't know if this is the case with all of them, but there is no date code stamped on here. There probably was one on the case, but nothing on the individual one. So I'm sure we'll find out inside how old this one is. Let's go ahead and take a look inside of it. It's going to be somewhat less than a standard MRE. 